Many of the new Blender users, and sometimes even experienced ones, struggle with the technical side of things. To be totally honest, I google for various Blender fixes almost daily. This is often the case when we want to use the new add-on or use some of Blender's native tools that we were always afraid of. Luckily, internet is full of videos similar to the one you're watching right now. And this one is about how to start using the Terrain Mixer. Don't worry, it will be helpful even if you have no interest in using it. Because I'll show you how to fix problems that, from time to time, happen to everyone. Here are all the zip files downloaded from the Terrain Mixer product page. Let's unpack them. Done. Now, it's really important to follow the instructions. This directory is named Instructions. Let's see what's inside. As expected, there's a manual, but we don't need it now. There are a few images named Important, so I guess it's important to preview them. Ok, the first one says, You must download supplementary content and place it inside the main directory, or the root directory. We did download it, but we're still not sure where exactly to place it. Oh, wait, what does the second image say? Ok, so it seems that a lot of it goes to the assets directory, which is placed inside the root directory named Terrain Mixer. Let's organize it that way. The Terrain Mixer directory is actually the root directory, and this is where we place the two blend files. The cool thing is that the asset zip files are already named to suggest where those directories should be placed. Additionally, there's a text file in each that shows the full path. Ok, now that everything is in place, let's open both Terrain Mixer and Terrain Mixer GN project files. The terrain in the first one looks flat, but if we set viewport shading as rendered, voila, everything works. Remember, Terrain Mixer is shader based and works only in cycles. Let's test the sliders. Nice. What about the other workspaces? Looks good. Everything is there. Now let's jump to Terrain Mixer GN, which works in cycles and EV. We prefer cycles. Right away we see that the terrain is there, so height inputs are obviously linked correctly. If we enable the rendered viewport shading, we see that the material is working as it should. Nice. It works because all or most of the files linked to this project are set as relative. However, sometimes people have different experiences, not only with Terrain Mixer. It can happen with any Blender project that has external files linked to it. In most cases, those would be images. So let's open another Terrain Mixer file to see what I am talking about. Let us enable the rendered viewport shading and bam, things look weird. Now, why is that? Well, I know for a fact that this particular Terrain Mixer file was placed in the wrong directory. If we close it, move it to the root and open it again, we see that everything works as it should. But the problem you just witnessed will also happen if the assets were placed inside the wrong directory. I'll grab all of this and place it here. You see? Sometimes things look broken even if we're 100% sure that we did everything correctly. So what else can we do? Let's see what files are missing. We can do that from here. File, external data, report missing files. If there is a report generated, you can see it under the editor type window named info. Now let's go to file, external data, find missing files. Select the directory in which your external files should be and click the find missing file button to confirm. Then press save or control S and revert under the file menu dropdown. If the files live in directories that are stored in different parts of your disk, you will repeat the process. The last thing to check when it comes to Terrain Mixer, the shader based version, is that the rendering engine is set to cycles and that the rendering device is set to GPU compute. Under the Edit Preferences system, choose your graphic card and select CUDA for GPU computation. Optics is also good, but sometimes it can cause crash of the Terrain Mixer project file. That's about it. Now you're ready to build your first terrain. Cheers!